Hi, this is Flash from Handyman Answers. Um, I'm, uh, I just wanted to talk today about the difference between the UHA, uh, which is United Handyman Association, and the UHSPA, which is United Home Service Professional Association. So um, the UHA was started first um, to include um, just handyman businesses, um, which are pretty much in most states considered an unregulated business. I'm not having a govern governing body that is doing any kind of a screening on handyman businesses. There's no organization um, prior to the UHA that is verifying documents that the individual, the business, um, insurance, things like that. So the UHA was founded um, in late 2009 to start uh, basically giving the handyman business, uh, the, you know, the handyman business owner the opportunity to um, to become um, certified um, to be able to, you know, for, for you know, business um, support, helping them start a business and run a successful business, um, giving them an opportunity to take a test, provide their documents, go through a background screening, and be able to show that they are um, a trusted, um, well set up business, um, and that they are there to provide you know quality work um, <clears throat> with uh, you know just giving peace of mind, knowing that an independent association is verifying them, certifying them, and guaranteeing them. Um, and um, so now, the UHSPA, which Started the same time, but didn't really roll out um, until um, recently. Um, is more for all home service professionals. Um, there are other businesses that are unregulated, like the handyman, that are home service businesses that a homeowner might use, um, like a, a nanny, a housekeeper, um, a gardener. Um, some some pool men are not licensed. Um, you know they. Um, they kind of a pool man and unlicensed pool contractor, which would be considered just a pool man, might be considered basically in the same realm as a handyman. Um, in fact, 100% they are. Um, a lot of pool men don't actually become pool contractors um, because they're just doing, you know, pool cleanings and things like that. They're not actually building a pool or replacing equipment or you know doing things like that so um, a lot of pool men would thought would qualify for being an unregulated business um, so it just um, you know basically the UHSPA allows the homeowner through our my home program to screen any service service professional that comes through their door so you know, it might even be somebody that is licensed. It might be, you know, maybe they want to just do their own checking and, you know, or maybe they have someone that is already working for them and they want to um, verify their insurance and, you know, or verify their documents or who they are that, you know, some, some people might not want somebody that's not a legal citizen to work in their home. Um, so uh, they would go through us to, to get them checked out through E-Verify. Um, maybe others, they don't care about that, but they just wanna make sure that um, they don't have a felony or they can pack, pass a background screening. They're safe with their kids. They're not registered sex offender. Um, of course, you can do this all on your own. You don't have to use the, use the UHA to do this, um, but it just gives you an easier avenue um, since we're already set up to do it. Um, it's easier for you to just go on and become a member of my home and let us screen your your service professionals before they enter your home. Um, and as far as the um, actually providing a service to the home service service professional, whether it's you know it could be anything appliance repair, it could be anything. Anyone that goes and enters someone's home or property qualifies to become a member of the UHSPA. Um, where we will offer a, you know, a membership, um, a verified membership where we verify who you are, verify your documents. We also give you an opportunity to certify your business. So if you're a pool man and you wanna be a certified pool man, go through the UHSPA. Um, 
if you want to, you know, if you're a nanny and you want to be in our database um, and certify yourself and pass a background screening, therefore somebody coming into our database looking for a nanny and in their area and putting in their zip code, then you'll pop up and your profile will pop up with, you know, maybe a picture if you choose or a logo and it'll come up as this is somebody who's UHA certified and uh, trusted and um, and we can provide work for you through um, through you know that kind of a search engine so um, it um, uh, it just offers that peace of mind there's not a lot of you know there's not a lot of resources out there for unregulated businesses um, regulated businesses typically to get their license have to go through some process but as far as unregulated businesses nannies housekeepers those are typically just you know you talk to your neighbor you talk to your friend you know but um one of the things that um you know we all have learned probably is that just because your friend or your family member has a good experience with somebody doesn't mean that you will have the same <clears throat> good experience <clears throat> excuse me so um you know you want to check them out for yourself the other thing is you know i hear all the time like oh well you know they've worked for us for for years and you know we don't need to screen them but um, you just have to keep in mind one thing um i don't like to say this but i say it um every bad guy is someone who thinks he's a good guy um you know we all see the news and we hear these things about this person did this and you know whatever regardless of what it is there's always somebody being interviewed that says oh my gosh like you know he was our neighbor and just so quiet never even would have thought this could happen or oh we've used this guy for years and you know he's been our handyman or he's been you know whatever and we just wouldn't even have imagined that this could happen um that stuff happens all the time and um you know, we, by nature, we, we like to trust people. And I think that sometimes, I mean, things bad happen, things happen that's bad uh, that we don't expect. And um, the whole point is, is just doing what you need to do to just make sure that you are protected and your family's protected. You know, we get insurance, we do all these things to protect our home, but then we have a tendency of trusting somebody that we have no idea who they are when we bring them in our home and we introduce them to our kids and they're working alongside our loved ones and um and we really don't know much about them so you know it's a lot easier for you to let us be the bad guy not bad guy but let us ask those hard questions you know do you have insurance um can i see your your identification can i you know it's a lot harder for you especially if you've been using somebody for a while to then go in and say, hey, Joe, you know, do you have insurance? Um, it's a little bit of a harder question when you've had, an, you know, a relationship with them already because they just look at you and like, you expect you to just trust them because they've been around. But, you know, um, people that trust a lot of, t you know, sometimes also get burnt. So, um, so the UHA for the handyman business, I mean, that's so crucial. The handyman is in your lives and you want a handyman to be able to do everything for you and you want to be able to trust that handyman because you can't always be there so screening the handyman through the UHA is pretty much your you know your best option because um, the other you know the other companies come to us you know because we are we do more of a um, you know tighter screening than your other you know online referral companies might so um you know just making sure that who you hire regardless of what they do if they're entering your home entering your property around your family just screen them using the uha and if you're uh you know if you're a vendor if you're a professional listening to this you know why not why not just start off the bat with start off a relationship with a customer saying look I've been background screened, I've been certified, they've checked me out, I'm who I say I am, and I'm here and I'm ready to do business for you. And I'm gonna be loyal and trustworthy.
This is Flash with Handyman Answers. Happy home repairs.